Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting tutorial. Today we are diving into a crazy effect inspired by Drake's Sicko Mode, the pixel sorter effect. While there are paid plugins available to create this look, I am going to show you how to achieve it directly in After Effects, no plugins needed. So let's jump right in. Once you are in After Effects, start by importing your footage and dragging it into a new composition. Next, we need to create a pixel map. To do this, create a new solid layer and name it Pixel Mapping. Our first effect will be Fractal Noise. Change the noise type to Block, Contrast to 10 and then open your Transform Settings and then uncheck the Uniform Scaling and reduce the Scale Height and we will keep the Scale Width around 100. Now the next effect we will add is noise. Keep the amount around 50 or 60. The next effect that we will be adding is directional blur. We will change the direction to 90 and the blur length to 100. Now duplicate the main footage, let's trim down few starting frames since I don't want the transition to happen from the start and then drag and drop displacement map. Change the displacement map layer to pixel map and the source to effects and mask. Now we will add our slider control. Now in our displacement map, we will hold ALT and click maximum horizontal displacement and then we will parent this to our slider. Now select the duplicated footage layer and then go to pen tool and create a rough mask. Move a few frames forward and adjust the mask path to follow the desired movement. Since we want the effect to transition from left to right, this masking helps to guide the effect in that direction. After you are done with the masking, next will be select the first duplicate footage layer with the mask applied and adjust the slider amount to achieve the desired effect. Follow along as I demonstrate the changes. We need to repeat this process for all the duplicated clips with the mask applied. If you feel the pixel lines are too thin, simply go back to the pixel map layer. In the fractal noise settings, adjust the width and height to make the lines thicker or thinner as needed. Okay, so now let's preview it how it's looking. Now let's create a transition from this effect. In this comp, I have dragged another footage for our transition and we will repeat the same process. We will add a displacement map and then we will change its displacement map layer to pixel mapping and source to effects and mask. And then we will drag and drop our slider control and we will parent our horizontal displacement to our slider control. We need to repeat this process for all the duplicated clips with the mask applied.
Thank you so much for watching this tutorial guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading more amazing content for you all regularly. Have a nice day.